Hey guys and welcome to part 2 of this Minecraft animation that we're making. As you can see it's a bit messed up over here so I'm going to fix that is I'm going to actually delete the whole character. I'm going to save my scene and then I'm going to open this rig. I forgot to add this in the part um, in my rigging so let's just get this real quick. So we're going to want to go to our well, what's up with the arms? Why is there an arm missing? Hmm. Strange. So I'm just gonna fix up the arm real quick. So this is gonna be kind of a rigging and then mine or animation. So I'm gonna bind it. That should be good enough. Yep. So now we go to our top view. And then we go to our curves tab. And let's add a curve. Whatever size you want it. I just think that one will be better. Duplicate it and move it to these ones. And then select this one too. Go to this view. And move it up, up a bit. Um, I'm actually going to scale these up a bit bigger because yeah, I need an easy way to select them. Select this and then this. Click P to parent it. Then we're just going to rotate. Oh, that was out. Then we're going to do the same with this one. Parent it and rotate it a bit. So whenever we actually move it up, it actually stays straight. That's how I messed up in the other one took me forever to figure this out, so that's why I haven't gotten the video out in such a long time. Because I didn't have these things to get them the way I wanted to. Now, we save this one. Now we go back to our other scene. Environment final? Was it? Yes, it was. I still want to open a scene that I don't want. If so, I'm probably going to cut it out. Okay, so we got this. We go file, import. Um, we're gonna import YouTube rig, save one. He is humongous. So, let's go. Ooh! Actually, you should probably do this before. Yeah. I keep messing up. I was messing up. I'll make this video longer just for you guys. So we select all this. And then we also want to select this, 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 and this with everything else. And parent it to this thing. Which nothing should move for you guys. Um, yeah, there we go. Now we save it and then go to our other scene. I'm probably going to make this one like 15 minutes. Probably a bit less. Because I'm um, 3 minutes, 4 minutes has already been just me and or rigging the rest. Trying to figure out the problem. But it's actually going to help you guys in case you ever run into a problem like this. So we're going to want to import it. Uh, there we go. I don't know if my mic is quiet, but this should be better. Uh, uh, sort of. There we go. Yeah. That was a whole lot better. Yeah. Actually, let's go to these views. Come on. Um, he wants to be two rocks high. So, right around there. He is pretty tiny. i tell you the truth. Oh, that's better. He doesn't look that tiny anymore. 
this is seeing looks pretty big. Ooh, why is there two of them? Um, oh yeah, because those weren't attached to his body. <laughs> Might have done the whole rig. So, I'm gonna want to stick with this view for now. Do I even have a camera? Yes, I do have a camera. Not even. Then we're gonna want to move him up to the camera. And click S. Now for C, if we want to set that to, let's say, 1000. And we're going to shrink it up to, let's say, 200 for now. Actually, 100 is better. So, <coughs> we want him to, um, let's see, waving, waving, and he stops right at 100 actually. We click S at 100. Then let's go to frame 200. Let's see how far he walks back, or how fast he walks back. Mm. <coughs> you can always put it to two, 300. 300, click S, go back to frame 200, right click and delete. Then whenever you do this, he starts walking back at, or back at a reasonable pace, so 300 frames right now are good enough. <laughs> so we're going to want to actually start making him wave, click S, when you select this, you can do either arms, but I'm just going to like doing this arm. And then you're going to want to move it, oh, actually, you got up to frame 100, so let's go to frame 31 and see what happens if you do this, how fast it'll be. That seems good, but if you see how he bends his arm right over here, you don't want to do that, then pull this out and click S again, so whenever you play it, you see his hands go like that and frame 40 you can you can pull this up and pull this like that like for me it's not going to be perfect because you can see how his arm bends and everything but for you guys it'll probably look a lot better because you take most of your time on it so then we're going to want to go up to frame 51 And play it. You can see how he does that. We are gonna run out a couple more. <laughs> All this is, it's about getting the way you want it. Like if you watch Captain Sparkle's video, he says the same thing. It's about. Ooh, that goes pretty fast, but oh well. You guys, can, you guys can always fix that. So, 60 to. I want 30 frames. Let's go to 90. And get his arm back to normal. And click S. And then we want to go right in between. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. And then we want to do that. So whenever we play it, whenever we put his arm down, we actually want to go back to our normal view. And then this is where he starts moving, so around over here, we click S again, and then we want to rotate him 180 degrees, click S. Then he starts walking. Then we want to do 180 again. Click S. And then let's see what we got so far. You can see all your waves. He puts his arm back down. He turns around and starts walking. So that's your basic movement stuff that we're going to be doing. It's already been 10 minutes, so got another 5 minutes. 
we got all of our scene background so we won't be needing that so um let's go up to here where's that camera so uh, i'll actually go up to windows outliner and select to your actually you're going to want to find it before your camera run oh, camera one then you're going to want to close this go to your attribute editor let's rename this to uh, main cam yeah i just put that main camera and i'm just going to put it on the second screen and then whenever we move this we're going to want to click s on this scene then whenever he starts walking or turning around we're going to want to take our camera move it forward spin it a bit pull it back click s on here And you can see how it moves like that. So whenever we actually play it, it turns at the same time, but we don't want that. So go to frame 99. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go to frame 99. Go back to your top view. And rotate it back to zero. And get it back in position. Actually, on second thought, got a better way of doing this. Go here and go to frame 99. You well actually over here. You can do it over here, then go to frame 89, and then we're actually gonna move the camera. Yes, I'm sorry if my mic is a bit quiet. You might have to turn the sound up. Then. Whenever we play it, you can see he waves, and then all of a sudden it switches like that. Then let's say we want it to go. We want it to go up to that frame. So. Just want to get into position and just rotate straight. Then want to click S over here. And then you can see whenever we oh yeah, look out. we do that, it just goes like that. So we're gonna have to do the same thing. So you stop it over here. Then no, stop it over here and you get it where you want it. Let's say you wanted it right over here. Let's just switch all this back to zero. All the rotation axis. And move this up. So whenever we play it, I think that will end the video. You can actually see it. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to fix that first. But that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. And whenever we get the further than 300, we're gonna work on that. But thanks for watching. Rate, count, subscribe, and then I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.